In the meantime, the Survivors Network of those abused by priests, or SNAP, is also speaking out about today's report. Channel 2's Sophia Beausoleil is joining us downtown with their reaction on this. Sophia? The group says it applauds the Catholic Church for providing a list, but they do not believe that the list is a transparent one, and they want to see more. They say with the 1.7 million Catholics who live in the Archdiocese, Galveston, Houston boundaries, they believe this list should be much longer. Today, the Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston, says as part of an effort to restore trust, they released a list of priests who they say are credibly accused of sexual abuse. 42 names appeared on the list, many of them deceased, and survivors don't believe the church is being fully transparent. But a diocese this size should have many, many more. The group SNAP, Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests, say today's list was a small step in the right direction. Because ultimately, as a survivor, what you really want is you want to be heard and you want to be believed. And, that, and the people who, whose perps are on that list, they, they got that today. Michael Norris is the leader and a survivor himself. He says he knows many victims across the state did not see their accuser's name on the list. Today was really disappointing. Amber Perez says her young daughter was sexually abused by a priest in Victoria last year and didn't see his name on the list. The group wants law enforcement to lead the charge on conducting separate investigations of the diocese across the state. The attorney general in this state needs to step up and do his job. Every diocese in this state needs to be investigated by the, the, uh, the attorney general. And other survivors agree. I know that if the law was more involved, more people would come forward. I reported my case, was reported in 2001 to the church with La Rosa Lopez. It was reported again um, within the last 10 years, and nothing was done. The church did nothing. And today, SNAP says they want people to know that if you saw your accuser's name on the list or did not see their name on the list, to contact police either way and to reach out to SNAP if you need support. Reporting live from downtown Houston, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you.